Good evening to everyone. Am I audible? Good evening to everyone. It's I'm um, very happy to welcome you all for the TN Asset um, online course. And it's a good platform to prepare for your TN set and also the net. It will helpful for the all the stream people like professors, students, and also assistant professors also. And it's a good initiative by the Indian Mathematical Professor Association and uh, coordinately by Infinity uh, Research and Development and Bharadian Salumni. And today our chief guest, the eminent person, uh, Sa Dr. Sahitya T. Ma'am has uh, completed her PG in Bharadian University, Trichy, and completed her undergraduation in PhD College of Arts and Science, Kwaimathur. And ma'am has so many uh, talented in teaching and research also. She is a multidisciplinary person. And also, ma'am has uh, secured UGC JRF uh, Junior Research Fellowship, Basic Scientist Research BSR Fellowship in uh, 2016. And also, ma'am has secured SRF Senior Research Fellowship, Basic Scientist Research Fellowship in 2018 to March uh, 2021. And ma'am has secured so many reputed awards and also cleared CSIR net uh, around 81 um, rank and qualified TN set in 2017 with a score of 219. It's a very nice and amazing scores. And also ma'am has uh, selected for summer school research program on dynamic of complex geometrical and international center for theoretical science, ICTS, TIFR Bangalore from May 23, June and 4 to 2016. And ma'am has attended so many international conference and um, workshops. Ma'am has collaborated with uh, to, um, Dr. Sudip in Turkey. Ma'am has more than 20 publications and ma'am has full length paper conferences proceeding international conference, national conference, and so many short-term courses. And ma'am has a um, position held coordinator for Science and Humanities Association in PSG IT Tech and PSG Tech Coordinator for PSG Institution Staff Day 2023, organized guest lectures, organized guest lecture for Science and Humanities Associate inaugural ceremony on 2023 11 2022 organized a guest lecture for National Mathematician Day celebration on 28-12-2022. Ma'am is a good inspiration for all the people, especially for the women, because uh, she has so many responsibilities and also she signed in his career also. Ma'am, you are a good inspiration for us, ma'am. Thank you for attending this class and you are taking the sessions. It's our pleasure to welcome you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. First of all, I want to thank all the coordinators for such a wonderful initiative because uh, it is not easy, right? Uh, you are uh, spending much time and taking a very good initiative. I'd like to thank, first of all, for inviting me, making me as a part of this. And I'd like to thank all the coordinators starting from who has started taking all the initiative. Ma thank you so much. Uh, for making me a part of this, ma'am. And uh, I think, uh, shall I start the presentation, ma'am? Yeah, yes, ma'am. Yeah, yes, yes. yeah, yes. Okay, sir. Okay, thank you. So uh, today I'm not uh, like, uh, I'm not going to say you how to prepare for set exam in the sense morning you can prepare evening and what is the type of schedule that I'm not going to uh, say, uh, say you because it depends on each and every person. It depends on their own comforts, how to prepare for the set of exams and this thing. I'm going to just throw a light or give you a very simple idea on what way you have to prepare for the set exam. Like, uh, 
uh, you would have been because i know uh, most of we would have done all the pg everyone who has been here have completed pg mathematics so they know the basic concepts of mathematics all theories this thing only thing uh, uh, they, they either they would be a fresher or uh, they would have had some uh, like uh, they would have been working as professors or faculties or this is scholar which they would have had a touch with certain type of uh, subjects that is a uh, certain concepts okay uh, they would have not had touch with certain concepts one may think uh, in order to clear all this exam they have to brush up the concepts once again so that it will be easy for them so it is going to be it will be or uh, they everyone knows the basics just one day it is going to be a platform for you to just brush the concepts okay and uh, i i like to share uh, my experience my friends experience how we initially started that would be certain freshers uh, like they will be they don't know how to start things initially like uh, uh, nowadays it is like we have googles uh, and uh, when we are going to google it we will get it like one will be suggesting something one other will be suggesting something and we will just put up everything get confused then the date will be very near uh, that is a different story okay so i would like to suggest you especially for the freshers and who like to start it how we can start it how how far you can go uh, like how you can start the preparation so that it will be easy for you to finish the preparation at the set of particular time so let me start with the introduction okay so i'll start uh, uh, sharing my screen Oh, uh, sir, the, I think there is some difficulty in sharing my screen, sir. Is there? It is saying you are not allowed to. Oh, yeah, thank you, sir. Okay. So I'll sh start sharing my screen. So. Okay. So it is just, uh, so as you know, uh, just a recollection of all the dates, okay? So your uh, when you have to apply for the DNZ and approximately your uh, date of examination is going to be on somewhere between uh, 3rd June and 25th June, tentatively. And let's fix to be 3rd June, hardly we have uh, two months, right? So this is how it is going to be. And uh, next comes the duration. Uh, first of all, I like to say there is going to be two papers. That is paper one and paper two. Uh, most of you have been aware of this. Just I want to give the information once again because uh, some of you were very new. So paper one and paper two, totally it is going to be three hours. Like paper one is going to for three hours. That is 9 to 12, uh, 12 p.m. And uh, another second will be 2 to 5 p.m. Right? So uh, it is uh, most of this is going to be like a UGC net format. That is how it is going to be. Usually your paper one is going to be like a general paper. That is, you will be having the paper one as a general knowledge, uh, teaching capabilities, research aptitudes, reasoning ability, uh, some reading comprehension, uh, mathematical aptitudes, diverse thinking, so on. So it is going to be a very general paper. And that will be for 100 bucks. And paper two, it is on a subject related. Whatever our subject is going to be now for us, it is a max. So it is going to be 100 question. You will be having it for 200 marks. That is a general pattern of the paper. So the cutoff they will be taking for your paper one, paper two, all together, they will give a general cutoff, which which they will give you whether you are going to pass in TSA. Everything is going to be like same as your UGC net format. Okay. That same kind of thing it is going to be. Uh, mostly, we will be very interested in preparing our subject because uh, for because it is for 100, 200, most of them. Uh, that will be two kind of difficulties. One difficulty is uh, like uh, 
people will be preparing most for the subject right so uh, like number of questions they will out of 100 they will uh, attend like 75 uh, uh, they will get even 75 question to be correct but when it comes for the general thing paper one they would not get the minimum scoring so you have to take care that you attain a minimum scoring for both paper one and paper two. And paper one, as I said, you have certain things when it comes general knowledge, it is a vast area. So it is uh, how to prepare for paper one is just concentrate on the uh, very uh, convergent area. That is a very quite uh, simple areas. For example, we are like mathematicians, right? So we are very much comfortable with mathematical aptitude. And uh, next is going to be uh, reasoning ability. Reasoning ability, they would uh, give us some kind of uh, questions. From that, they will be asking you certain questions, or it will be like uh, uh, some pattern. For example, some HW, CEA, some pattern, and what does it represent in uh, some sequence? This kind of thing will be there in the reasoning ability. Then uh, reading comprehension. Among that is like uh, some uh, some essay kind of thing will be given. In the sense, you will get a paragraph with uh, 10 to 15 lines. And with that, you will be getting some five questions. That is uh, con uh, That will be there. So these are the three, four areas which you can uh, obtain math easily. That is the thing. Because uh, we can't concentrate more on paper one. But in the, to obtain the minimum mark, or uh, to have an easy uh, thing, score mark easily, you can concentrate on the topic which is much closer to our subject and which is much easier to, all, uh, to us also, OK? So this would be one of the thing. I'll tell you where you can get this. Uh, because as I said, paper one is going to be a vast area. But uh, I'll just, uh, in the further coming slides, I'll tell you where you can get the content of this or where you can get the set of questions for practice for it okay and one advantage of our tn set is we don't have negative marking uh, like that is i request all of you to attend all the questions since we don't have any uh, negative marking and the syllabus for tn set is going to be as of our csr bit okay so this is going to be the uh, syllabi i'll project the syllabi for paper so paper one is the syllabi that is restricted for uh, general knowledge research aptitude reasoning ability and so on paper two is is our, our own syllabus that is mathematics syllabus so which is on csr net i'm projecting the syllabus any syllabus irrespective of you are going to prepare for tn set or uh, net anything or uh, you will have a compulsory part to be the analysis, then linear algebra, then complex, then algebra, topology, ODE, PDE, numerical. These are the uh, compulsory areas which is always there in any kind of preparation, not even for TNC, even when we go for, uh, let me say, uh, CSR net or uh, some gate exams might be one or two topic they would have removed it from here but this is a basic uh, six seven topics which is always there in any kind of competitive examination for mathematics okay and uh, this here it also includes calculus of variation linear integral equation classical mechanics and a very vast area then comes the stat. So these are the set of the syllabus. I'm I'm just uh, moving faster on syllabus because I want to just first deal with the paper one, then we'll move on to the paper two. Okay. So before entering into it, um, I will see how we have to prepare for your paper. Paper one is, as I said before, uh, you can go for any type of. Uh, we have reasoning ability like uh, some bank exam books uh, and so on so you can go for any type of books for your reference or you can uh, now now like in youtube a lot of videos are available you can uh, just hear the videos uh, whenever you uh, get the uh, like leisure time you need not uh, spend much time for it in order to uh, test you or in order to make the uh, thing easier, yeah, I have given you a set of website, ugcnetonline.in. 
as I said, this syllabus is going to be similar to our UGC net, right? So this UGC net online, if you're going to click, I'll just click it and show you. Uh, we'll be getting a set of papers here. Uh, I think NTA, after 2015, it is taken over by NTA. In this, if you're going to click, you will be having general paper on teaching and research aptitude. For example, if I click any one of the paper, you will be getting a set of say uh, you'll be getting some set of papers which is going to give you the little cooperation for example one writes all the numbers from 50 to 99 without the digits two and seven how many numbers have been written so this kind of this helps you if you are going to practice it is enough for practicing this ugc net online papers old question papers and uh, uh, gate question papers uh, that especially the aptitude part and CSAR net aptitude part. If you are going to uh, prepare for that, I am damn sure you can crack it like uh, fifty percentage of the questions. Because uh, when you are going to prepare on this way, easily easily for example these kind of questions like given below are the two kind and some four different conclusions. What you are going to conclude from the statements. So these are the, that is what they say, reasoning abilities and so on, right? So if you're able to uh, prepare uh, prepare these kind of questions, it will be helpful for you to crack the, uh, easily the part paper one, okay? So paper one, uh, instead of, uh, that is my personal suggestion, instead of going uh, and preparing individually a uh, part by part, uh, these are some general things uh, like if you are going to prepare some set of question papers say hardly if you are, i'm going to consider here we have from 2009 till 2019 so hardly you will be having a set of some 50 to 60 question paper in which the aptitude part is going to be some um, here only you will have a major part ugc gate and all you will be having it for like 15 20 questions only if you are going to prepare hardly some 50 question papers only the aptitude parts you will be able to easily crack uh, more than 50 percentage of mark in your paper one that is a, one of the easiest way i would suggest for doing your paper one fine uh, now let's move on to the uh, paper two okay so before entering into paper two we'll look on to the syllabus and then we will discuss what would be the uh, respective books for that and the uh, respective things okay when it comes for paper two analysis uh see uh, like as i said some uh, main thing on this kind of examination is more how much you practice see uh everyone they given at a time of three hours uh or given a question paper everyone will be able to solve the questions okay but it is only thing how many of them is able to solve within the three hours only that practice will help them to or uh, the speediness will help them to crack the exam okay when you take uh, any set question paper i'm sure that given that uh, once uh, who is in touch with the syllabus or who is a, who is a mathematician they will be able to solve the all the set of questions yeah but only that the speedness you have to do that within a uh, like when you call you have to do the times period of within the three hours that is a difficult part that we that is where we uh, miss set of questions and we were not able to crack the entire thing okay that speedness will become only through practicing uh, some set of question paper that is why uh, now uh, like coordinators are giving you uh, i have seen it was like even after some set of session they are giving you some kind of mark test at all that means they are uh, like how much you are able to practice the mark test and so on uh, that much you will be able to get the speedness that much you will be able to get the go uh, crack the uh, tnz very easily okay so first i'll say you uh complete i'll show you syllabus parallelly i'll show you the books that you have to study and uh like i used to recommend the books what you want to study is like uh, let me say 
for example if you are going for a linear algebra okay i'm going to suggest you a uh, two different types of books starting uh, i'm not going to deep into the syllabus i'll i'll just uh, start with the books okay so like let me say uh, first we'll start with the books algebra and linear algebra uh, if you are going into like uh, start it very first time uh, i ask you uh, please uh, do each and every problem in the book uh, don't think so man doing each and every problem will take lot of time it is going to consume more and more thing it is not like that uh, uh, let me say for example you know the condition for we will stick on to the very simple concept like vector space we know what is vector space we know how many conditions satisfy the vector space then we know what is a subspace and what is a necessary condition for the subspace all that theory part we will know it, right but uh when they give a problem like different kind of problems uh you when you are applying it for the first time or when you are applying uh like let me call even 10 time or something there will be some slowness but when you are seeing some sequence sets of problem for example uh, uh if you're if i'm seeing a linear transformation uh with some condition that is in uh, uh let me say d of x comma y equal to uh, x squared comma y squared. I want to prove whether it is a linear transformation or not. Okay. In order to prove that, if you would have done like practice more and more problem, immediately it would see, you would see that x squared comma y squared will be there. That will that will be violating some kind of rules. Make that it is not a linear transformation. So that is what I recommend you to. Uh, this is a basic book. Arumugam, I said. Uh, sir's Armukam Sir's book is a very basic book which helps you to understand much easier and uh, which helps you to solve more and more problems. So that you have more and more problem. I, I would recommend you to start with this modern algebra which has both the concepts of algebra and linear algebra. Once you've completed, once you become much confident with it, you can move on to the Galleon's book. So let me say Galleon, uh, I would recommend Galleon for uh, those who are start preparing for net exam. Uh, when it comes, uh, there is a difference between set and net. Uh, uh, like uh, T and set has, uh, as I said, they have uh, no negative marking. But when it comes uh, net, they it will be a little bit more difficult compared to set. I think uh, everyone agreed that. So it is when you are preparing for uh, next exam, you can choose uh, Joseph Callier as well as the Hurstein. But in order to make your platform more comfortable and more thing, you can start with model algebra of Sir uh, Aramgam I said book. Uh, I, I, I said Sir book. It is a very good book which makes your basic very stronger. Okay, so I would recommend these. Uh, three books and this topic in algebra I, uh, this topic in algebra has a lot of theorems of course all the books have same kind of theorems but uh, in, if you see in topics in algebra you will be having a lot of uh, results in your especially in your exercise part now I will not say into the uh, books or something you will have a lot of results in the exercise so if you are preparing for net exam just make a note of that results part which is in the uh, exercise also which will be useful to uh, for any kind of application right next uh, for analysis you can prefer analysis you know it is a vast area you have a lot of things see uh, this is these are the books just i'm suggesting to you people but uh, see some people might be very comfortable with certain kind of put certain author language if you are comfortable with that you stay it only thing is you try to do as much as problem given in the exercise don't skip the exercises in the book or uh, don't stick to certain type of exercises in the book you just 
uh, do each and every exercise in the books. That is a very important practice that has to be done in order to clear any kind of computer weights. So we'll start with the next one. That uh, next is for analysis. Of course, modern analysis, especially you have a modern analysis by Armukam Isaac sir and uh, one uh, small part, all this is like you will have hardly some I think 100 uh, pages only so which will be done within some uh, three days uh, or uh, three and a half days even though if you are working faculties this can be done within three days even modern algebra when we were working it was done within one week the complete book has been solved within one week so i like you to practice in that way suppose if you are not able to find any time to sit and solve it just go look into the book and uh, you just uh, think of the solution in your mind uh, if you feel that is a uh, solving it takes more and more time just uh, just think of the solution for example uh, if this is going to be a subspace to check whether it is a subspace or not immediately you check whether the alpha condition is uh, like uh, scalar multiplication is it applicable yeah it works out and then the uh, scalar addition yeah it is going to work out so these condition is satisfied it is a subset and uh, identity element is present after, yeah it is a subspace if any one of the condition is valid it is not a subspace so that you can just check in your mind also you need not uh, take a pen and pencil and do it yeah initially you have to practice it by doing that but later if you feel that it is like it's keep on going you can just do it uh, confidently it, uh, in your mind, which will help you more on your competent exams. Okay, so and this is going to be a uh, uh, next one modern analysis, the same kind of thing. Of course, modern analysis, you will have more and more concepts. You know, it is a uh, like it has like more and more uh, theory part, more and more concepts, and more and more questions can be framed also. So practicing more questions on analysis will help you. So I have suggested you two different books. One is uh, Arunam Sir's book, so even sequence and series. And next is Gold Book. There also, like, it, it has been given with the very basic languages, starting from what is a line, like what is R, what is an interval, what is an open set, what is neighborhood, close set. They, they have given the like, picture is eased and everything and given it. Uh, of course, many books would have been comfortable to you, but I felt this is much more simpler and it has uh, many exercise problem also. And more, these are the very... Uh, uh, Rai Singhania book, the Shanti Narayanan book has a much problems for you to solve. Once you are good with your basics, you can just uh, work on this elements of real analysis and mathematical analysis. But initially, I uh, rec uh, recommend you to, uh, like, I request you to go through this methods of real analysis by Goldberg and then comes the Arubagam Sir's book. Then you can start doing the other sets of book also. Okay, the topology one to understand, uh, we can go for Kumarisan's book, topology of metric spaces, starting from here's like uh, this topology of metric spaces and uh, topology by Mantras. I would suggest uh, for CSR net also because both the books works well, they uh, from they have uh, given from the scratch, like uh, uh. When it comes metric spaces, topology of metric spaces, they have given you from the scratch, which helps you to think more and more. Okay, and even topology on mantras, and especially on the something on your uh, uh, this part, uh, exercise part. And uh, one easiest thing is when it comes for topology, write down all the results that would help you. First, topology. Um, than doing all the exercises, you are going to write down all the results on the topology on the mantras. Uh, uh, just uh, go through the uh, syllabi and write all the, uh, what you call, uh, the results, especially uh, results, uh, working results that is given inside the book uh, and uh, the exercise part that is going to work out for both your CSR net as well as CSR. Um, uh, that is the one thing or two very good book for topology. 
then comes complex analysis. I think when it comes for complex analysis, uh, uh, Armagam sir book is, I'm going for Armagam sir book because uh, he also starts from the scratch. So it is also a very good uh, book. Uh, so uh, by complex analysis by Armagam sir, it is, is a wonderful book. Uh, it has a lot of problems uh, and it has a lot of different problems, counter examples and so on. And uh, if you uh, like, you can go for any kind of engineering books that has a complex analysis as one of the parts that also has uh, many problems. Like, uh, for example, they will say what set of function is going to be analytic and does not satisfy a Cauchy Riemann and the what is going to violate the Cauchy Riemann equations. Uh, all this kind of counter examples, many things are there in the engineering books. Okay, you can go for any engineering mathematics book which has a complex as a part, or also you can go for uh, complex analysis. Arghum Sir book is a one of the wonderful book. And next you can move on to Kudu Sami Sir's book, the foundation of complex analysis. Uh, little bit, I think uh, there will be a little bit difficult in languages, but it's okay. It's fine. We'll be able to grasp it. And uh, it is also one of the wonderful books for the complex analysis. Okay. So if you're able to tackle set of problems given here in complex analysis, you will be able to tackle the any kind of problems, uh, I hope, even in CSR exams. Then comes ODE. See, uh, when it comes for ODE, uh, usually they don't go deep into the theory part of the ODE. That is what uh, I observe in set exams. Uh, mostly they will be asking you the problems. Uh, like uh, they will give you a first order differential equation. They will ask for the solution. That is the most type of thing that, is, that they will be doing for ODE and PD. They will not be going deeper uh, as far as I have observed, uh, like uh, most into the like uh, why this comes for existence, why this comes for a uh, uniqueness that much they, uh, deeper they don't go. But uh, in case of CSR, they have to go a little bit deeper into the theory part of ODE. Like uh, even in the wrong scale, you have to observe what happens inside the wrong scale. Like, and there they used to create problem in the domain of the second order equations. Okay, so it is enough if understanding the results and if you are able to solve the first order differential equations, second order differential equation system of equation according to the syllabus, uh, that would be much finer for our set exam. Okay. And similarly for the case of PDU also. And uh, one of the books I would suggest is. is uh, Rising in your book will have a lot of problems for ODEs and PDs. So it is going to have like it has a and moreover, it is going to have much worked out uh, example problems for ODEs and PDs. So it will be a very good set of uh, it will give a very good set of problems. And then comes the uh, Simmons book. Uh, I would recommend Simmons and Shankar. Even Shankar Rao books has a lot of problems for PDEs. Uh, I would recommend this uh, Simmons book, one of the, and uh, one is uh, Simmons, then is Coddington uh, for uh, uh, ordinary differential equation. And next comes the uh, Sneedon uh, for uh, PDEs. That when it comes for a net exam, you can look on to the subject. I have projected this uh, picture also so that uh, you'll be able to, you would have already got some set of books. This will be easy reference for you, right? So this, uh, when it comes the OD and PD file preparation part for a set exam, you can start with the basics of course you you have to start what i i'll just say you when it comes for syllabus i'll say you how to prepare for your ODE and PD. okay so that is the easiest way to crack your ODE and PD. next comes the numerical methods numerical methods are very two good books i jane iyengar books has a n number of problems if you're able to solve it that is fine that is the only thing one thing you have to always look on to your numerical analysis is uh, uh, when it comes for numerical methods, if you're given a method, we'll be able to solve a problem that I accept. Uh, usually, pair we uh, will not concentrate much is error part. 
uh, then comes uh, accuracy part order what is the order of conversion for a newton raphson method bisection method all this order error part and the uh, uh, accuracy part these also you have to consider it in order to uh, in for the numerical methods otherwise uh, solving the problem using uh, the given problem solving it using a formulae which will be much easier for us uh, only thing what we have to do is we have to uh, concentrate more on the error part accuracy as well as the conversion what is the order of the conversion if that is done your numerical methods exactly you can crack it any kind of not even uh, like not only in uh, net uh, sorry set you can crack in gauge at also csr next comes calculus uh, calculus variation or calculus of variation i think as gupta book will work much easier and uh, for you to be uh, like we would have had calculus of variation in our msc so if it is there even the notes of your class notes basically uh, what would be the if the function is going to be a uh, like uh, f is a function of some uh, epsilon and we will be restricting x y and x y dash if it is there what would be the formula that all the rules are not you have to know little bit that is where our question is repeating i'll show you a set of question paper also that will help me. next comes classical mechanics when it comes classical mechanics you can go through the goldstein books go through set of problems there go through all the results in this and you will be able to crack your classical mechanics then comes a very important part stat uh, a major part stat is going to be uh, when it comes mathematicians uh, when you, uh, if we are uh, if you are like a very fresher and if you did not have any uh, stat course i think now most of the colleges have stat course in pg if that is it means you are lucky but if it is not there many tend to skip the stat part but it is not going to be that much difficult uh, initially it seems to be difficult but it is very easier subject once you understand the stat part okay uh, stat part for understanding the concept uh, Gupta and Kapoor, it's fine, but it would be a little bit difficult for understanding the concept. So I think uh, Bittel book is fine. PR Bittel is much, much better. That you will have a lot of problems and you will be able to understand much, much easier. And when you have n number of, when it comes to books, you can go for n number of books. One is I, the one just for I have given, it is going to be Muthi sir book. And there is uh, some set of uh, like Kausalya ma'am's book, and some set of books which helps you give a uh, number of problems in stat when it comes for stat only thing you have to develop is because all the books will have a theory part and you'll be able to it you only thing you have to do is like concepts how many uh, number of different type of problem you are able to uh, solve in stat so that you can verify the very first thing is Gupta and Kapoor if you're very uh, fresh to stat in the sense you don't have a touch in stat I, re I recommend you to go for any uh, like uh, uh, like PR uh, White Vital and Murthy Sir books, and then you can jump on to the Gupta and Kapoor book. This fundamental of mathematical stat. This is a vast a book which has vast area completely. It covers everything in stat. So this would be a very fine, right? Yeah. So this is the thing. So look on to now. I have given you a set of books that is for your reference. One, I recommend you to go through all the exercises, do all the exercise problem, try to tackle it. It is not that compulsorily you have to tackle all the exercise problem or compulsorily you have to get answer for all the exercise problem. You have to try to tackle the set of exercise problem that would help you much, much uh, uh, easier that would make your speedness uh, or uh, increase your speedness on your uh, uh, what you say in your competitive exam so irrespective whatever the competitive exam is it is going to help you much uh, much much better okay and by studying like when you're going to study on the books i request you to study all the theorem statements for especially for set exams and the results and you are going to focus most on the counter examples. If a theorem statement is given, 
we are going to study the theorem statements that results because uh, I think nearly some 20 percentage they ask your theorem statements and results. Okay, 10 percentage on counter examples. And remaining some, you there will be some set of percentages. Some percentages are going to be the application of theorem statements and results. I'll show you a question paper that you can itself see why. That will be mostly the application of definitions. Okay, given a set of definition, they will they will they will just test you whether you are able to apply the definition in the uh, space. Like me say R R square or some space whether you are able to apply it. Okay, and then they will see whether you are understanding the counter example. That is in the sense for a theorem. Uh, let me say some theorem is going to be valid for a. A set of conditions, uh, whether you know, so we'll say the converse need not be true, right? So it's some kind of counter example that will be set of relaxation in the uh, examples also. So that is that is where it is going to be. They will check that also. Okay, most of this will be focused. Okay, how to study this part two? Okay, as I said, part one you are going to refer all the question papers, study it. That is a different. Uh, of course, you are going to cover most of the topics on analysis, right? So when it comes to analysis, uh, we cannot predict this is the question they will be taking, this is the question, but these are the important topics that you should not miss it, okay? And start from the basics, uh, like given a set, whether it is a finite, countable, uncountable. Given any set, you should know to find whether the set is countable, uncountable. Okay, next you should know to find a supremum and infimum. You can say I'm skipping set of this, but basically I'm saying what and all you should know that supremum and infimum for given any set. For example, if it is going to be uh, what is it you should know what is the definition of a least upper bound or uh, some set of definition, what is upper bound, lower bound, GLB, all this, and given any set, you should be uh, you should be able to find the upper bound, lower bound, GLB, and uh, so on. Okay, least upper bound and so on. That is the one one thing you have to do first in the first two lines of the analysis. Then sequence and series. When it comes sequence and series, there are a lot of results of sequence and series that convergent property limit that you can't skip that. Would be uh, some question that uh, the fifth line I'm going to come for a certain topic what we can't skip the sequence and series. If given any set of uh, sequence series, you should be known to know that convergent, whether it is first of all convergent, divergent, for what set it is going to be. For example, they will give some set of uh, something whole power n or something. For what power of n if it is convergent, what power of n it is going to be divergent. And uh, given a function, you should know whether it is differentiable on the given domain or it is not differentiable and so on. That, a uh, basic has to be covered okay and next comes the uh, set of theorems as i said they have like very specifically mentioned the two theorems you should know the application part of the theorem what do you mean by application part given a set of theorem i should be able to uh, solve using the theorem i should be able to find uh, some statement or solution or corollary or something that uh, that way you should be able to do this thing okay Next comes the Riemann sums Riemann integral. Of course, it is an improper integral. It has set, uh, it has certain kind of uh, patterns. Okay, and as I said, next comes the monotic function discontinuity. All this should be done. I think uh, Lebesgue measure. You have only a very little question, and Lebesgue measure is also a measure theory. It is a very small area which you have uh, hardly some. Uh, uh, like 50, uh, 70 results, that's all. So I think if you're able to uh, uh, like uh, put all these results together for your Lebesgue measure, it will be fine. You will be able to cover the Lebesgue measure, Lebesgue integra integral and so on on the topic, right? Then comes the functions of several variables that will get once you understand the differentiable property for two variable and multivariable you will be able to do all this function of functions of several variables then comes the very important topic this is the topic you can't skip 
metric space compactness and connectedness that is the very important topic given a set you should be able to test whether it is compact or not whether it is connected or not uh, applying any kind of theorem you should be able to check whether it is compact connected and so yeah so this is going to be the set for analysis so as i said it is going to be most important topics will be like finite countable uncountable of course i am as i am saying it is an important topic but i can't we can't guarantee that this is alone will be coming for the world. this is a major thing you have, you can cover it much uh, like much deeper okay and supremum infimum uh, then sequence series continuity when it comes continuity uniform continuity differentiability two variable multivariable all this will be included then lipid it is a very small portion you can uh, carry out easily then comes metric spaces compactness connectedness of course non-linear space given a thing you should know whether what type of uh, like check something they used to ask uh, check whether this is a non-linear space or not. Given a set of function, find uh, which of the following function is going to be this non-linear space or two norm, uh, infinite norm. All this can be given and they can give set of uh, four functions to check for a non-linear space. So these kind of things. Then comes the uh, vector spaces. Given a function, they can ask you to check for vector spaces, subspaces, linear dependence, basis, dimension, linear formation. All this and rank uh, determinant, this all comes you to a single thing, right? So given a function, uh, they can ask you, for example, uh, like, uh, given a function, they can ask you to check uh, whether this is a subspace or not, or this is a given a space, they can ask you to check whether it is a subspace or not, or given a set of, uh, set of, uh, like, maybe I can call you in R3, some set of coordinates I'm giving, and I'm asking you to uh, uh, check whether the set is linearly dependent or not, or I'll be asking the, uh, to find kernel of T for a set of transformation, and I can ask what is the basis for the kernel of T, dimension of basis, dimension for U plus P, U intersection B, and so on. So these kind of the things are that the question can be framed. It is enough if you're going through uh, the only the books and set of exercise problem that would help you and uh, much much easier it would be much easier for you for for the preparation for the exams then comes eigenvalue eigenvectors of course you eigenvalues concepts are much easier and uh, uh Kelly hamilton theorem one thing i want to remind in eigenvalue for example uh, mostly how your questions is going to be like uh, Say me, I am having a quadratic uh, equation, characteristic equation. You should uh, like, it will be like, what would be the second term? Cord, like, uh, uh, let me say it is lambda square minus two lambda plus three. Then what would be your uh, two term? Two is going to be sum of the eigenvalues, like, right? and when it comes for uh, that three, the last term, the constant term is going to be nothing but product of the eigenvalue minus one. The, all this result will be given in the Kelly Hamilton theorem. The Hamilton theorem is just one thing that is going to satisfy its own characteristic equation as a corollary using eigenvalues, eigenvector. All this result combined together, usually they will be framing a lot of questions using this. Uh, Kelly Hamilton theorem using the trace and even if it is going to be go the, uh, going for third order it is like a uh, product of sum of any two terms all this uh, that you have to look a little bit deeper yeah, you, you might get one question from this also right then the all these terms when it comes linear algebra it is like interlinked you can't skip even a single topic in linear algebra so it is matrix representation of a linear transformation uh, given a transformation, you should be able to do its matrix representation and change it from one basis to another basis. That would be one big thing. And then uh, convert into a Jordan form. Using Jordan form, I think they will not go much deeper into the concept of kernel nullity, but you should know, given a matrix, how uh, using the uh, Jordan form, how you are going to find a minimal polynomial character polynomial, or using a minimal polynomial or characteristic polynomial, how you are going to form a uh, 
make a jordan form that is if you are able, if you are much familiar with this concept it would be fine then comes the inner product space orthonormal basis so given a basis they might ask you what would be the orthonormal basis for this set of things so that would be and next the quadratic forms when whether it is going to be positive negative uh, like uh, all this kind of uh, classification of uh, quadratic forms you should be able to do with the help respect to the algorithms the same concepts will be repeating in the pde course right then it comes a uh, complex analysis when it comes for complex analysis we'll concentrate more on this topic analytic function cauchy riemann equation uh, then comes cauchy theorem cauchy integral formula then maximum modulus formula open mapping all this then comes a uh, Taylor, all this, uh, especially the second part is much much easier. In first part, you can concentrate more on this power series, uh, analytic function, and Cauchy elements. Once you are you are thorough with all these concepts, automatically you will be using all the results on the first two lines. That is algebra of complex number, which has addition. What what you mean by the conjugates and so on. So some properties on complex numbers and complex. planes and what are the properties of exponential that automatically you will know once you are uh, studying all this uh, uh, this uh, which is on the second paragraph that is cauchy theorem cauchy integral formula by the application and uh, make sure uh, like when you are calculating you should know what would be a set of poles whether how you are you should be able to classify uh, which for a given function you should able to classify whether it is going to be a essential singularity or poles or a immovable singularity that is a uh, much important and we have they have given a set of theorem maximum modulus theorem and open all this theorem you have to Uh, go for the application of it. What you mean by application is that problem will be given as a uh, with some numbers, or it will be given the statements will be converted into some kind of problems. So if you are able to identify that kind of thing, think on that point of view, it would be much much easier. And co application Cauchy integral formula, the derivative Cauchy derivative, all this. Uh, for f double dash, if you are able to calculate residual function and so on, it's good. And when it comes for conformal mapping, uh, any kind of transformation, given a mapping, you should know whether whether it, you are able to identify whether it is a conformal or uh, uh, it is going to be a, whether it is a conformal mapping or not. Then, given a function. So we're going to check for a, whether it is a bilinear transformation. What is the condition for bilinear transformation? Transformation from one set to another. And when it comes for bilinear transformation, uh, we can't sit and solve entirely. For example, if a, if a given f of z, it is a bilinear transformation which has two combinations. Say it is going to be a magnification and rotation. Uh, we we need not sit and solve entirely on the Thing in order to find your image, you can just pick from your example that is your options whether it is going to which has this two combination. So in order to identify in such a way, you should uh, look on to whether it is going to be a. Uh, uh, you should know what type of transformation is this. Whether it is magnification, rotation, inversion, what type of or it is a square transformation, exponential. That alone, if you are familiar. It would be much much easier. I'm just giving you a overall idea how to uh, when you start preparing, how and all you can uh, think, uh, just prepare all these things. That does alone how I'm giving you the set of ideas. Okay, and algebras. Uh, yeah, of course, permutation combinations uh, you will have at Pigeon Hole principle usually. Uh, the pigeon. This part you will have some set of questions like per, from permutation to we have like primitive roots, right? First three thing. Among this, you will have some at least one set of question thing you will have. Usually, it is how it is happening in the end set also CSR net also, right? So usually uh, among this uh, using either using concurrence of Chinese remainder theorem and combination, they have given it entirely. But usually we will have a set of Question from that. Then comes group. Sure, one thing we can't omit it is like oneness group. Group given a set, you should know to find whether it is a group, subgroup, and what is the application. All the uh, 
um, uh, like some statement we have no we are you should be able to apply the statements when it comes for algebra uh, you should do both the statements uh, and the application part also in the sense of the problems uh, problems in the exercise so uh, that is and uh, this theorems permutation groups uh, class equation, silo theorem, Cali theorem, all these theorems would be much, much important both in set point of view as well as especially in CSE and eight point. The silos theorem, you will keep on applying it. Uh, this in order to study from if you are like basic, you want to much more uh, get practiced on to group, you like more on algebra you want to concentrate more on algebra i would recommend you for the galleon book that will be at the level of preparation it will be very good for both set and the book will be very good for both set and net also so it is like galleon book is very because it has a lot of exercise problems it has a lot of exercise problems and you can see that same kind of exercise problem will be repeating for example, uh, one uh, that would be one set for it is if you are going for uh, doing it for only prime number, then doctor will be extending it. What if it is a multiplication of two prime number? Then so slowly you will be uh, like introducing the concepts in the exercise itself. So that will help you to think more and more, and it will be much easier for you, right? Then comes the rings, idols, questions, all, all this, if possible, try Galleon book once. Okay, I think online the Galleon books are available, which will be much easier for you to download. You can go for a set of websites and download it. You may not go and buy it, but that Galleon book is much, much easier and it is very interesting. And it comes topology, complete thing. We have, we have to go all the separation, axiom, connectedness, and so on. One thing is to, on topology, it is enough to uh, go for the two different books. When it comes for uh, uh, what we call, when it comes for a uh, set, set point of view, enough of going for topology of metric spaces and uh, topology of a matrix. If you're able to solve uh, all the exercise in topology of metric spaces, that's fine. Any topology question, you will be able to solve it. And you should know what is basis, product, topology, substrate, and concentrate more on the counter examples. Here is the place they will give you a set of uh, uh, intervals and they will ask whether it is a, a standard topology, whether it is a K topology, lower topology. All this, the, you, you should be able to differentiate all these things. And using separation axiom, yeah, they will give you set. They will, they can ask you whether it is a host of space or not, um, whether it is going to have T1 axiom, T2 axiom, what T1 axiom we play, T, T2, T3, all the set of axiom, then connectedness, compactness, all this you will be having. Uh, that would help you a lot. Right? ODE, PDE, as I said, it is enough of preparing the entire uh, in a problem way. It is enough of understanding the concept of doing set of problems. Most things uh, we expect in OD and PD is you should be able to the, able to solve different kinds of problems. But when it comes for CSAR, they concentrate more on this existing universe. I'm damn sure that will be at least only one question that will be always on this existence and uniqueness when it comes for CSAR point of view. Right? And uh, in CSR also, you will have a uh, little bit theory thing. One day, uh, uh, like, uh, for example, if your solution is going to be something e power minus t, uh, uh, some, some c1 into e power minus t plus c2 into e power minus 3t, instead of giving you directly the solution in the option, they will give you, like, uh, uh, for uh, the solution, uh, converges to zero as t tends to infinity. Solution is unbounded as t tends to infinity. Solution is good, so more option. One way you have, so you know, you'll be 
uh, given a differential, second order differential equation with constant coefficient, you will be able to solve it and you will be able to get the solution something y equal. I am giving just an example. C1 e power minus t plus C2 e power minus 3t. Then you know this is a solution, right? So, but the options will not have, will be directly like A. It is going to be y equal to c1 e power minus 3. It will not be like that. Instead, they will be giving you as t tends to infinity, uh, your solution is going to be, uh, it is going to be uh, convergent. Or t tends to infinity, it is divergent. Or t tends to infinity, it is going to be, it is going to converge to the value of so and so. So one only thing is on your solution, you're going to put t tends to infinity, you will find. That is the difference between, uh, that is how the question they will be framing for set and uh, uh, net. Uh, that is uh, this kind of question will be asked in net. When it comes for set, they will go for more specifically a direct question. Okay, uh, not much deeper into it. But if you are able to tackle this uh, kind of thing in this point of view, you can crack any type of questions in ODs and PD. Even in variation of parameters and drawn scan also, there is a set of questions in Simmons exercise where you can just uh, uh, look into that. That will help you to uh, crack more and more problems in your CSM. When it comes to uh, ODs and PDs, actually it is much, much easier. One key thing is you have to practice the speedness you have to increase always in ODs and PDs. And one suggestion I have to give, uh, give is try to uh, get solution from the options when it comes for ODs and PDs. Of course, for every problem, we can't do it. But a certain kind of problems, uh, we will be able to get solutions. Uh, sorry, uh, we will be able to get the answers from the solution itself, not uh, because it, you know it is lengthy, right? You will be tackling for half or one pages and you will be trying to find the solution. Instead, uh, little, make a little bit trickier and check whether the solution, what you have got, uh, is going to something related or from the solutions or on the option. From the options, try to find the solution. That would help you in the case of ODE and PDs. Right, and when it comes to numerical analysis, as I said before, all this theorem should be there. Important: what is the condition for cross elimination, cross seedals, and uh, what is the uh, uh, numerical solutions for ODE? The all this Picard theorem formula we should be thorough with, and how to apply the formula. Especially, you should know the rate of convergence, error, order of convergence, and uh, and uh, uh, yeah, uh, order of convergence and uh, especially error and the accuracy up to which order that is h power phi uh, like you should be able to know that if that is the case numerical analysis is much much easier and it will be and yeah of course calculus of variation necessary and condition for extreme oil like range mostly you will have some at least one problem from that process and then comes the line integral yeah, it is lengthier, but once you understand, like if you are going to practice it, it would be much easier for you, right? Then uh, similarly in uh, classical mechanics, more on Lagrange equation. I think this you have to know all the statements and some application oriented problems for the classical mechanics. Yeah, then comes the stat. It is a like very vast question. Uh, I uh, recommend you to like go for first of all cover all your huge PG portion and stack. Then go for next comfortable subjects. Like for example, according to whichever you would have studied already in stack, because this stat portion, unit four portion, I have taken. Uh, they have not given specific syllabus for these. They said this time the syllabus is going to be same for CSR net, but this syllabus is uh, since CSR net mathematics will be taken both for stat and math people. They have given unit four in a stat level portion. Right. So in order to cover this, when it comes for set point of view, I recommend you to first of all cover the syllabus which you have done already in your UG and PG. Then you can move on to the next portion. First, cover completely the syllabus that you have done on your UG and PG. For example, certain syllabuses, uh, if I'm not wrong, uh, 
uh, we would have not uh, done Markov chains and all if that is not. Uh, when I did, I did not find these at all. But uh, if whatever the syllabus you have completed, let it be very basic. Uh, whatever the syllabus you have completed from, uh, like started from your G uh, and PG, you first complete that syllabus. Let it be in a different order also. They say here the syllabus will be in the some tenth paragraph, but you would have done it before. It's okay. First, complete that syllabus. Then you can move on to the remaining parts or look on to the remaining parts. But just make sure you complete your UG and PG syllabus. Right? So this is how it is going to be. Yeah. Fine. Okay. So as we said, we'll have very two span of time. We will just, uh, only two months span of time, we will go through all the results and everything. It's fine. But though I go through, there are some people or some said, uh, will be saying, though I go through all the questions, I know it completely. I, I know how to do it completely. I'm not able to crack it. The only reason is there is a lack of practice. Though you know it is not a matter, you know, whether little, much, or almost everything. You should be able to grab, say, uh, for example, if I know only 50 percentage of the syllabus, but the 50 percentage of the syllabus, entire questions of that respective questions, if I'm able to crack completely within the three hours, that person also is going to get the same score. Let me say I know entire 100 percentage all the concept, but I'm able to do only 50 percentage of the uh, questions means I will also get the same. So both both of them will be getting the same score, right? So though you uh, like though you know entire concepts, entire results, and everything, how much uh, you are going to uh, practice that means a lot. How much you are going to practice? Say for the D1, if you're starting practice, see, we had a uh, discussions before. So let me say for day one, if you're going to practice any set of questions, if you're able to tackle only 10 questions, let it take time. Let me say for one hour, or let, let me say two hours. Be frank that sometimes when you're starting initially for two hours, some questions, if you're cracking only 10 questions, that's fine. But you can see after one week, you'll be start cracking. I'll not say you'll have a, like an exponential increase, but you'll be cracking. You'll be starting for a 15 question. If you are spending one hour on uh, like uh, some, like say some three hours on preparation for set exam, at least spend only one hour on a practicing the set of questions. Okay, practicing any set of questions. So I would suggest you. So first, this I have given both CSR and set point of view. Okay, uh, like you can start practicing. Uh, so now I like I am very basic. I'm going. I want to start from the scratch. Means you can go for this IMSC or SEM. IMSC dot res dot in. Once again. IMSC dot res dot in uh, from NBH. Okay, so you can uh, start with that. So I'll just click on to it. Okay, so you can see this is a there are two type of questions available. One is a MSc level questions like uh, I'll just click on question here, which has uh, like which is for your NBHM scholarship. But when you see the questions, it will be more easier for you, which helps you to like it starts from with very basic. Like, uh, let me go for the first question, the polynomial something x cube minus 11 x square plus a x minus 3, 6, uh, 36 has a positive root, which has a product of the other two roots. OK, it is going to have that means uh, 
uh, it is going to be having a my lambda one is going to be product of lambda two and lambda three. Always my lambda one can be written as a product of lambda two, lambda three. You are going to find what is the value of a. Uh, easiest thing is you are going to use the concept that is your eleven is going to be nothing but trace. That is a sum of all the item uh, that is your, all the roots, and uh, product of all the roots are going to be uh, your determinant. This concept you are going to use it, and this is a uh, taking two uh, uh, roots at a time. Sum of two roots at a time will be here. Using this concept, all these values you are going to find it. So. And how many group homomorphism from such a set to such a set? All this, uh, it is going to be like a MSc level. Uh, this is uh, for an MSc entrance examination. And if you are able to do that, it will be much, much easier, which helps you to practice more and more. So I'll be, uh, I'll just show you. This is the, the where the NBHM questions are going to be. Once you are done with that, you can go for a PhD level. So initial stage, if you're starting practicing questions, you can start because this gives you much more confidence on the areas of algebra and analysis. Here you hardly have only algebra, uh, a 10 question, okay, and analysis. See, the questions are simple. They will give you a transformation. Then they will ask whether the state is true or not. Okay, and then comes the uh, and it has both algebra and linear algebra. Then comes the analysis part. This is not divergent. Uh, this is not going to diverge from our topic. This is as same as topic. The third session it consists of uh, different thing. You can just skip this thing. Uh, no problem. Concentrate. Uh, you have set of questions also, but uh, you concentrate more on algebra and analysis part. Fine. So this is for your, uh, this is uh, the master's scholarship, but this this question you can practice and for your reference, they have given key also parallelly that will, uh, they have given us like, uh, you know, the key, the values, everything they have given it parallelly also, right? Then comes the same set of question paper for PhD. Uh, when it comes for PhD, I think it will be a little bit the higher thing, which covers all your PG one. Okay, so this will include all your complex also, uh, complex numbers and uh, uh, yeah, of course it is going to include more and more, which is related to our subjects. But this is fine. Uh, you can include all the set of uh, you can have all set of practice all these set of questions so it is a, it is one thing if you are going to start that practice with this msc then comes a phd before practicing phd you can go for your iit jam question also okay so this iit jam questions especially you can see for example i'm clicking on may 2021 they concentrate mostly on the uh, uh, subjects that is on third year of your bsc okay what was the subject will be third year on bsc is the pure subjects right that is going to be algebra analysis and so on so we'll be concentrating you'll get more subjects on the third year of your msc so you can just pick the set of subjects so you can see uh, whatever i'm uh, showing it is like uh, you have your analysis part here and next comes the uh, uh what is that uh, you have algebra and this is going to be very simple which one of the following subsets of r has a non-empty interior these kind of questions also you will get in the set exam right so even this kind of question whether what happens the transformation f double dash of x and asking which is not going to be in the range okay if you're able to uh, tackle these kind of question it would be much much easier especially when it concentrate on algebra and this and this zone as he said uh in differential if you're able to concentrate all this it would be much much easier for you so uh if you are like initially you are going to start for a practice for the competitive exam, any exam in uh, where at the MSc level in mathematics, this two uh, uh, that is IMSc uh, as well as that is MBHM and JAM, I would recommend you, which helps you a lot. Okay, then comes the uh, Akkar book. Uh, this is not the book I'm recommending, but Initial stage when I was preparing initially, I found this to be much, much easier. Like it, it has like uh, all the questions will be like 
statements. That is, your practice problems would be like statements of results. So once you uh, like practice, uh, memorize, or you understand some results, you can just, uh, in order to remember it, or in order to check whether you're able to get it correctly, you can use this Kupkar book, but it is not compulsory. You can take any CSAR books also. Just that is, I'm giving you, this is just an option for you to check yourself, especially on theorem statements and so on, and uh, very simple applications of it. And next is, uh, if possible, if you are attending this level, if possible, try to get a PhD entrance examination question paper of our state universities. It need not be, you need not restrict it only to Tamil Nadu. You can get any uh, other state's university also. Only thing we need a like, backup of set of questions. So PhD entrance exam question papers from any state university is much, much easier. You can get it. Uh, you can, uh, which which would be much easier for you to, okay. Then set the, as we have in Tamil Nadu, we have set uh, examinations in Andhra also. Uh, I'm not sure about Karnataka, but I remember in Andhra also we have collect that set of question papers from other states. Okay, that even if you go in the official website, you will be able to do it do it okay so if you are going to do all this five things if you are going to practice it i'm sure this time you'll be able to crack much more much easier in sector exam uh, in, with a very good score then comes the uh Ariet book this book i have recommended if you are going to start for your net preparation this book i don't say this book has entire content it has a uh, like summary of all your theorems and statements, but it is not an entire content which is going to have in the for your set preparation. Sorry, net preparation. But essentially for practicing, because this book has a like for in, under each topic, it has like 200, 300 multiple choice questions. That is multiple uh, answers you have. So that helps improve our thinking or the speedness or uh, speedness uh, will be in, uh, increased. So this Ariant book will help you much, much better. And even it, it is not this one. Even if you have any uh, CSAR book, uh, need not restrict it to Aryan because I practiced with Aryan, but uh, any CSR book uh, for just for practicing very really good book, if you are going to use it, it's fine Be because that you are not going to depend for the concept or all concept dependence, it is going to be on the books and all this mark which the lecturers are going to take. Uh, you are going to depend only for practicing like bulk set of questions, okay. Next comes uh, stage two. In the sense, I have characterized, like classified it. Uh, next comes uh, uh, if you have completed, this is for CSAR. Like this initial five thing you can practice for set exam. I'm giving some even little uh, bit for preparing for CSAR net also. Go through all the old CSAR net questions. Once you go through all the old CSAR net questions, you will have an idea how a single question has been framed in different ways. For example, uh, like if you're getting the June, December, then June, December, all the set of questions, you can see that a single question itself in after some three years, they would have framed it very different way. They will be saying, what are the property? This has some kind of cyclic. They will give it in a subset. That set seems to be difficult, but if you are going to write down the set, it is a much, much easier set. Then you will be able to recollect some set of properties and you will be able to do it. So old CSR net question, old gate questions and everything. And uh, the TAFR, TAFR, if you are going for a basic, like BSc level, MSc level, TAFR, CMI, all this we are going to practice it as much, much. Uh, it is going to be very useful for clearing our net exam. And Hyderabad University question, sorry, it is University of Hyderabad, that was a mistake. And their entrance exam, all this is available in their corresponding website. And IAC Bangalore entrance exam question, HRI. If you are going to practice all the set of questions, 
I, I can say you can start clearing your CSN net with a very decent score. <coughs> and and one thing which I like to share a few things with you is when if possible, see if you are a student or research scholars or thing, please uh, prepare in groups. Why I suggest you to prepare in group is, of course, some will be comfortable on preparing individually, I accept. But when you prepare in groups, uh, like for me, let me say a uh, three person or four person is in a group and they are sitting and preparing. That will be one kind of problem. One will get one certain type of uh, uh, thinking uh, like one will be tackling in one way other will be tackling in another way the one easiest thing what you can get is uh, even what way you are suggesting or other suggesting would be a little bit fastest way or easiest way uh, to get it at like using that you will get two different ideas which helps you to which helps you somewhere during the examination so if possible that is how we do now in groups right uh, that is the initiative taken so if that is possible try to do everything in uh, groups or of course at least some discussion you have in groups which helps you to actually group discussions and everything helps uh, other person also and also always helps us initially also okay and uh, as as we said uh, uh see uh, like most of them uh, as i think all the professors know uh, we have uh, even after clearing net uh, jrf and so and so uh, we have like uh, most of them we placed in uh, iits and many of the friends are there in iits and they are also organizing set of programs most of you, if you see, uh, they will be saying that they do they do on their own practice. If anything you ask is, they practice lot of lot questions in order to crack the exam. It is not that they um, stick on more to the theorems and concepts only because now also you take CSA and net question paper tackle it uh, let me say have it for five years initially i had the problem i tried to answer when we take the question paper i'll be able to solve all the question but it takes five years five and a half hours, six hours that is the the time limit within which you have to do it that will be done only using the practice more and more you practice more and more on the subjects it will be done okay so this is the few things i want to share with you all Okay, uh, so I, I hope this would be uh, much useful for you. And if you have any doubts, uh, any, uh, any doubts or anything, you can ask to me. Yeah, really. Thank you, ma'am. It's a wonderful session, ma'am. Uh, uh, I will uh, stream this uh, video to the our participants. I will collect the uh, queries and questions, and I, I will share you, ma'am. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Yes, ma'am. So, so on, be on behalf of... Uh, yes, ma'am. Yes. So yes, ma all the best for all the participants. You have, uh, like, two months it is much more enough for uh, cracking uh, any competitive exam uh, one thing is you have to practice any set of questions only that has to be done so i think i wish all the participants and i wish them all of them has to crack this time uh, the set exams and thank you for the organizers also like giving me such an opportunity and inviting me for such this wonderful initiative thing thank you so much sir and uh, like it is a very uh, like uh, very uh, I'm pleased to be a part of this thing, sir. I'm very happy on this kind of organizing things. Thank you, sir. Yeah, really, thank you, ma'am. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank uh, our uh, organize uh, our uh, Infinity Research and Development Institute and as well as uh, uh, Indian Mathematics Professor Association for uh, providing these type of uh, uh, coaching class in a free manner for uh, our uh, young mathematician or uh, 
young uh, researchers i would like to thank our uh, panel panelists advisors all all other members and also i thank our uh, today's uh, chief guest dr t uh, sagitya ma'am for gracing us with this uh, invaluable insights and uh, guidance on clearing the net set examinations and his own experience and expertise and advice for uh, undoubtedly illuminated for our path towards uh, success in these uh, challenging examinations like uh, our tn set or uh, we have uh, many uh, aspirants are waiting for uh, last 6 years so this year will be uh, <clears throat> one of the uh, awaiting year for all the aspirants of uh, tn set so that we are organize this type of uh, online coaching in a free manner okay so uh, as well as dr sagitya ma'am com uh, comprehensive tips and experts guidance have not only provided us with a road map but also instilled confidence and motivations in each of us to strive the strive for excellence and his dedication to helping others success succeed in truly commendable and uh, serves as a uh, inspiration for all asp uh, aspiring candidates And once again on behalf of everyone present here today i extend our uh, sincerest thanks to dr t sagitya ma'am for his time uh, wisdom and unwearying support we are immensely gra uh, grateful for uh, knowledge and encouragement he has shared with us which will be undoubtedly uh, propel us towards achieving our uh, goals uh, that is nothing but our uh, tn set clearance in 2024 and thank you once again dr sagitya ma'am for your invaluable contribution to our journey journey towards uh, net set uh, clearance we are truly honored and privileged to have a, have the opportunity to learn from you yeah really thank thank you ma'am thank you sir thank you sir thank you so much sir uh, dear participants if you have any queries or uh, any uh, doubts so kindly post in the chat box we will uh, reach you within soon thank you